Hey everybody, Nikos here with Premiere Guitar, and in this video I'll be showing you an easy way to put new strings on an acoustic guitar. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Premiere Guitar's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time a new video gets uploaded. Let's start. Most acoustic guitars have three tuners on each side of the headstock, so this is the kind that we're looking at today. To make the process faster and easier, we're going to need a set of wire clippers and a string winder. Make sure that either your string winder has this cutout on it, or that you have one of the many other bridge pin puller tools available on the market, so that you can easily remove the string from the bridge without damaging your guitar. For acoustic guitars, I recommend changing one string at a time unless you want to condition your fretboard. We'll start by removing the old string. First, we're going to loosen up the tension, Cut the string off above the sound hole with our wire clippers and unwind it from the tuner. Then we're going to use the cutter on the string winder to remove the bridge pin that is holding the string attached to the bridge of the guitar. You could probably do this with your hands at this point, but it's a lot easier to use the string winder. We'll continue by making sure that the hole on the tuner is aligned with the slot on the nut so that the string can pass straight through it. After that, we need to attach the ball end of the string to the bridge. So we'll insert the ball end in the hole on the bridge and then we'll put in the pin after it. It's very important to remember that the cutout on the pin must be facing the string at this point. Next, we'll apply pressure on the top of the pin with one hand and use the other to pull the string up until it feels stable. Then we'll bring the other end of the string to the headstock and straight through the hole of the tuner. While attaching the string to the tuner, it's important to avoid too many windings so that the guitar stays in tune better. To achieve this, we'll hold the string above the tuner with our left hand so that it's straight and tight, grab it at the nut with our right hand and bring it back a bit more than one fret. This way we'll make sure that we get no more than two to three windings. Let's move on to winding. So I'm going to create a mark by bending the string above the tuner and pull down while turning with my string winder. It's very important to be turning counterclockwise so that the windings are coming from the right side of the tuner and below the extra string part so that it keeps it from slipping. Then we'll bring the string up to pitch while applying some pressure to the bridge pin to keep it from popping out. Make sure that it's seated well in the nut slot, cut the extra string part off with our wire clippers and move to the next one. After stringing the three tuners on the left side of the headstock, it's time to move to the ones on the right. The process is exactly the same up to the part where we're determining the length of the string. The difference here is that after feeding the string through the hole of the tuner, I'm going to pull it back a bit more than two frets instead of one to create a couple more windings for the lighter strings. We'll move on by turning counterclockwise so that the windings are coming from the left side of the tuner this time and again below the extra string part. Once we have changed all the strings on the guitar, it's time to jam. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and I really hope that it's been useful. Please don't forget to subscribe to Premiere Guitar and I'll see you at the next one.